Let's hit the big local story, which is um, uh, Carrie Lake. She's running for Senate, um, and and she boy did she, boy she screwed Jeff Dewitt, didn't she? So Arizona's GOP chair, remember he's the head of Arizona. Oh, that's right, he was. I always forget that. He Yesterday quit. he was the head. <laughs> Overnight he was the head of it. Right. Earlier today, yeah. not so much anymore. So when this broke yesterday, basically the first thing I said is he's going to get fired. He's done. He's going to step down, and it'll probably happen Saturday. So I was just a couple days late. Um, he stepped down after the leaked audio tape. So if you don't know what the leaks are, I mean, what, what were in the leaked audio tapes? Ah, you know, hey, Gatos, <laughs> uh, if you take a pause for two years, I'm going to get you a really good job. Yeah. You know, it's going to be good. You know, what's the number you're looking for to just relax and take some time off? You know, is there a number that you're thinking of? Don't run. Don't yeah. run for Senate. We just, don't want you to run for Senate. Not now. I mean, again, we're not telling you forever. No. We'll just say take a pause. So just Carrie pause. Lake walks into this meeting. She's completely mic'd up. And Jeff DeWitt has no idea that she's mic'd up, which is the dumbest thing in the world. I mean, there are people who don't even, you know, look at politics or or – or, you know, they don't care what Carrie Lake does on a daily basis. But most people know she walks around. This is not a joke. She walks around with a microphone on. She's a rea she's a walking yeah. reality television right. show. And so if you're Jeff DeWitt, do you not expect that when you have a sit-down meeting? And how dumb do you have to be to, to, to say, what's the number? Uh, how can I get you not to run for Senate? <laughs> what and job would you like? like? Did, did, did he go, like, even closer to Carrie Lake's secret microphone and, and say it as clearly as possible? Because that's how I think this happened so okay it happened a year ago in march carrie lake held on to this she says she didn't release it that's a bunch of bull yeah um she no had, she didn't she handed it she, to the person yeah, next to you right, and right. Said, i didn't release it oh, but that know, guy right. that used to work for me did <laughs> shame on him all right so uh lake was on with broomhead today and broomhead said well how was it how was the audio given to the media i did not provide this to the media, but somebody who had access to it, who I know did. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. And she's I like... Didn't, I didn't. <laughs> I. You, somebody said, did you hand it to... I did not. I... And you, I could... You can give me a lie detector. You know what this sounds... But honestly, somebody who had access to it that I know did. It's like one of those, like, drug deals. Like, on... That you see in the movies, and you've got... You've got the, 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 the person that's selling the drugs, and... Psst. <laughs> Nod the head. Yeah. Get what you need. You know? Uh, and then uh, Carrie Lake just n nods, and, and then, you know, that's kind of what happened. That's it. The person released it. Well, of course, Carrie Lake, you know. Um, she uh, didn't, but she knew. Of course she did. Okay. Let's see what else she, she said. I bet she said I can't be bought. I bet that. You can't buy me. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, I get it. See, this thing just sounds so orchestrated, man. It's like, I don't know, like, did Chairman Jeff DeWitt not like his job? And did he say, you know what? <laughs> Carrie, I really like you, and uh, I'm going to uh, try and elevate you. So come into my office. I already know you have a hot mic. And, um, you know, we'll cook this little scheme up, and, and, and I'll say this. I'll say, hey, what's it going to take? And, and then you can play the role of, oh, I'm so upset that somebody tried to, to, to bribe me, and I'm going to show the people <laughs> that I can't be bribed. Now and he's accusing her. Okay, what's that part of the story? He said, today... I was determined to fight for my position. However, a few hours ago, I received an ultimatum from Carrie Lake's team. Resign today or face more <laughs> new damaging recordings. This is like the Sopranos. The Republican Party in Arizona, they're the Sopranos. Oh, my Lord. So here's the thing. So she, she you, bri you bribe me? Well, I'll raise your bribe, and I'll double bribe you. I know. <laughs> you know she's got more dirt. Of course she does. He doesn't want this out. No. What could it be? What could it be? What else did he say on that recording that is... Selectively, as he said, edited. Oh, please. That's, you know what? I don't care how selectively edited. That is... I mean, let me say this. Did you step down today, Jeff DeWitt? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, it, 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 why? Well, even though it was selectively uh, uh, edited... No, it wasn't. No. No, you tried to bribe her. You who, we don't know. Now, who... you didn't try to do anything, okay. but your marching orders, who I'm sure you got a call from today going, all right, Jeff, you, what's your number not to say who sent you? <laughs> all right. <laughs> right. Uh, here's more from Lake on uh, Broomhead Show. So someone to try to bribe me, I mean, it's almost laughable. I walked away from my career. I walked away from a seven-figure contract. Uh, I'm the victim. It's funny how she always plays the... I don't think she's the victim here, Chad. I think 
I, I mean, if you look at it, if oh, this she thing... walk away from her career, okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, you but she's do made those kind more of money things. taking money from people who want to give her money. Well, that's a big deal, too. What she, do we call that? What is that the word? Grifting. The grifting. She's, the, she's, she's part of the great grift. Right. Right. I mean, none of it's illegal. It's just, uh, you don't know, it's kind of creepy to me. She's making way more money than she did at TV. And she's she gets fine. a lot more. Look, everybody yeah. recognizes you go to the mall, you see her, you oh, that's Carrie Lake, she's right. on the news. Now, right. everybody across the country pretty much knows who yeah, she is. Yeah, but don't say anything because she'll record you. Yeah, she's hanging out with the president, the right. former president. She's doing, you know, hanging out the mucky mucks. Okay. So, uh, but is she the victim here? She's uh, play, she's let me play this again because that's all I heard is I'm the victim. Hold on, lady. <laughs> You're the one that recorded Jeff DeWitt and it led to his demise. Isn't DeWitt the victim? Well, Not very bright victim at this know, moment. But. Neither of them are victims. They're a victim of circumstance. And in modern politics, right. where it's about the party first, then the person second, and then whatever's left for the people. And these people are all about party and, and person. Okay. All right. But play the victim. So someone to try to bribe me. I mean, it's almost laughable. I walked away. Okay, hold on. Maybe I'll, Hold on. Let me change my mind for a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Maybe she is the victim. She was bri- she was she, well, she was, was bribed. She was sitting there and he tried to bribe her. Okay. So that was true. Right? Yeah. yeah I mean, you know. so so maybe I can change my mind on this. Aren't they both victims right now? Like she screwed him, he was trying to screw her. Cuz yeah, I think that's how you have to look at it. It's not one or the other. Okay, Carrie Lake, a lot of... See, I just expected her to play the victim because that's what she does, that's what Trump does. But she's got... She kind of is the victim Well, here. she is absolutely the victim yeah, in this yeah, sense. But yeah. then what she did, as and this is what makes her astute in, in media and politics, she took a situation where she was absolutely the victim and she figured out, how can I supercharge this <laughs> right, right. in my way? But and he's the victim, too, because he sat there and someone much higher than him said you need to get her out of the race and 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 just ask her for me how much is it going to take so yeah. and he got secretly uh uh, uh recorded taped. yeah so he's the victim too we've got two victims yeah. can we just he, get rid of both of them he was the middleman that, that like everything else right you never get the head dealer yeah you always get the street guy <laughs> right and they got the street guy on this all right why don't we do this we'll continue this play a little bit more audio from uh, carrie lake earlier today on ktar uh, he says she's blackmailing him. So she's got goods on him. She's got yeah. more stuff from that conversation. And he ran away like a scolded dog, man. He did not. He's like, okay, I'll quit. You got me. I'm going to tap out. I'm done. Yeah, I don't want you to release that. Don't release whatever you have. But here's the thing. What does this whole thing say about Carrie Lake's character? Can you trust her? She is a politician. Can you trust any politician? I don't know. Thanks for watching Gatos and Chad. Click to watch more and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.